you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Take it easy. You're gonna break the machine. I don't have to fix another appliance. Uh, sorry. It's okay. Breakups are tough. You're entitled to some rage. If it makes you feel any better, Vic says Grace is icing her out too. It doesn't. Who's Millwood, babe? Hey. I'm just trying to have a conversation. How about you mind your own business? I listen to a million true crime podcasts, so I'm basically an expert, okay? Here's what we have to do. Step one, start with the basics, gather the facts. According to the Attaway Times, Ivan was struck on Route 13 by a hit-and-run driver. Mm. Uh, police estimate it happened around 12.15 in the morning. Perfect. Step one complete. Go us. Now step two, we need to find logical suspects and find ways to either prove or disprove them. Starting with Junior, what do we know? Junior has a limp that he didn't have a few months ago. Yes, and it's entirely possible that that limp is from a car accident, the one that put Ivan in the hospital. It's also far more likely it's just unrelated. Hmm. Not if he was driving drunk. Junior has a history with alcohol. Maybe he's back on the juice. You know, either way, I feel like there's only one way to find out. We need to figure out where he was that night. Great minds, Max, my man. And the best way to do that is... Hack his phone. Too complicated, but I like the impulse. Let's start with his computer. I just need to find a way to get his password. Or Victoria's. I took this from her room this morning. <laughs> I love it! Hey, me and you are good at this. Like a regular Holmes and Watson. Can I be Holmes? Yeah, don't get cocky. But, um, let me see that. Honestly, I'm not sure. In the moment, it felt like I was doing the absolute right thing, but... How? I don't know. You trusted your instincts. That's the most important thing. I'm really proud of you. Then why do I feel so bad? It feels like a piece of me has been ripped out over a year of my life down the drain. Just because it ended doesn't mean the relationship wasn't significant. It's okay to grieve. But honestly, it's probably better that it happened when it did. It'll get better. Guaranteed. Really? Really. Breakups are a really fertile time for growth. You just have to prioritize self-care. And I know just the thing. I'm friends with the owner of Oasis Spa. I'll call her, see if she can get us in. What do you think? Uh, that sounds amazing. Eleanor's gonna be at the country club all day and won't be back for hours. Great, well do my driving. I actually had to walk here today. You have your license, right? Yeah, I just got it, but I don't have a car. I, my babysitting money hasn't really added up yet. Grace Whitaker can't afford a car. Why would I? I just assumed. I'm sorry, that was stupid of me. Um, I'll call us a car. This is the most disorganized calendar ever. <laughs> Look at this. He has a reminder tomorrow to add a reminder next week for a dentist appointment three months from now. It's like trying to read digital chicken scratch. Poor Vic. If I had to decipher this all day long, I'd be grumpy all the time, too. All right, go back to August. The weekend the 13th. There, August 15th. That's the night of the accident. Happy hour? I knew it! He went to happy hour, he got drunk, and when he was driving home, he hit Ivan and drove off without a second thought, that bastard. What, what happened to examining the facts? We need concrete evidence. All right, you're right. Well, let's look around. This whole room could be a crime scene. Go, now. What are you doing? In our quest for justice, we can't leave any stones unturned. Right here. 
an invoice for his car. Is that concrete enough for you? What the heck are you two knuckleheads doing in my office? Hey man, I'm sorry about earlier. I didn't mean to be nosy. I know you have too much on your plate already without me adding to it, so. It's cool. I'm sorry I snapped at you. It's just a lot, you know? <laughs> My dad and brother are always on me. The team is on me. And Grace, I don't want to let anyone down, but I can't keep going like this. I, I just need to blow off some steam, you know? I might be able to help you with that. I've got something planned, but I strictly need to know, okay? I'm talking confidential like CIA black ops level classified. Can you keep a secret? Sure. What are you doing today? And this, this right here, this is what they call an invasion of privacy. You know, I expected a heck of a lot more from you, Jordy. We were just tidying up the office. You know, nothing like a good cleaning spree to get the uh, endorphins flowing. And you, son, you don't even work here. I asked him to help me. Uh, your computer screen had a lot of dust on it, and he's the only friend I have that has electrical cleaner. So I asked him, right? Right. I always carry it with me. These dirty screens, they're the worst. Uh, I can't stand them. Nope. Kids, I, I can't keep up with you. Hey, that's Gen Z for you, right? Always on the move. We are obsessed with our electronics. <laughs> All right, look. I don't want you two or anybody else in here messing with any stuff unless I or Victoria say so. Noticing some things missing lately. Really? Uh, like what? For instance, my whiskey. Huh? And maybe that's just misplaced, but let me tell you something. It is not your problem. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yes, sir. All right. Now, scram! Get out of yes, here! Sir. Hey, you doing okay? I've been calling you. Yeah. Actually, no. Not really. Anything I can do? Do you want to come over? I'm hanging out with Hillary right now. The girl from Juniors? Why? She's a really good friend, and she's really in my corner. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I can't do this right now. I gotta go. Wait, Grace, I... I made us cocoa. Oh, thanks. Everything okay? Yeah, it's just thick. Did something happen? She never liked Connor, and I really don't feel like hearing her saying I told you so. Friends should never make you feel that way. Can I ask you something? That thing you said earlier about Grace Whitaker affording a car. What made you say that? Well, our dads worked together, remember? They were really successful. So I just assumed you had money. My dad still supports me, though it's not like I advertise that. But I don't know your family situation. My aunt's really frugal. If we had any extra money, I'd know. Yeah, probably. $3,600 for parts and labor? Jeez, a little. That's seriously expensive. Yeah. My dad had his car in the shop back in May, and if it cost that much, it would have bankrupt us. It's dated August 21st. Less than a week after the accident. And according to this, Junior's car is still in the shop waiting for parts. I smell a cover-up. What are you doing? Verifying the evidence. Hi, this is Junior Chambers' assistant. I just had some questions about the work that's being done on the uh, SUV Mr. Chamber put in the shop on the uh, 21st of August. Junior Chambers, he already picked up his vehicle. 
Hello? Sorry, uh, bad connection. What was that again? I said, Mr. Chambers picked up his vehicle this past Saturday. He didn't tell you. Oh, you know what? <laughs> he must have forgotten. Bad memory, that's all. Thank you. I think Junior might have ruined Ivan's life. You good? Hey, what's up? Jamardi! Hey. There you go. Thanks. Yeah, buddy. This is incredible. I can't believe you pulled it off. Seeing is believing. I gotta hand it to you. You're ballsy. If anyone found out about this... I try not to worry about what if so much. Tracks from living in the moment. Cheers to that. Great party, Nick. Thanks. Hey, Connor. So, Chelsea and I are doing jello shots, and she thinks cherry's the best, but I like the lime. Want to be the tiebreaker? Absolutely. Another satisfied customer. Nick. Nick, listen. Junior knows something's up. I think he's on to us. Got us some more popcorn. Great. One more movie? No, I better get going. Oh, come on. Eleanor's still driving home from her conference and we'll be back for hours. And I kinda don't wanna be alone. Okay, but no more action movies. Can I ask you something? Anything. I... I don't know much about my dad, and I wonder if maybe your dad could tell me about him. He's in China on business, but I'd be happy to call him. Thanks. Eleanor doesn't like to talk about my parents much, but I just want to know more. Everyone deserves to know where they come from. You're right. Could you get me a glass of water? But of course. <laughs> I'll be right back. Next time on Juniors. I've been reported being hit by an SUV or truck on the know that Junior went to happy hour. Homecoming? I'm sure tons of guys jumped at the opportunity to ask you. I have a lead on who might have left you for dead. You're going through difficult things and it feels like you're replacing me with some random rich girl.